All right, lesson 100 is um, about parabolas. We're going to be graphing parabolas. And um, up till now, we've graphed lines. So this is going to be a curve. Um, and a parabola is always going to be created when you have a y to the first power, x to the second power, as the highest powers of those two variables. And in specifically, when x is squared and y isn't, it's going to either turn upward or downward. It's up to us to establish, based on location of points, uh, which direction it goes. A parabola shape is this, kind of looks like a U, and it could go up really quickly or it could be really flat. So it could be like that even, or it might go like that. There's different factors that create that situation. Um, what I'm going to give you today is enough information to find the bottom point or the top point if it's turning this way of the parabola. And then if you pick several other points on either side of that point, it'll give you the shape whether it's going down or up and that kind of thing. So um, the goal today is to figure out how to figure out where that point is. Okay, I'm going to give you a formula to find the x-coordinate of that point, and then the formula here gives you the y-coordinate. <clears throat> so here's how it works. Do we all recall the quadratic formula? Yes. Okay. Quadratic formula, we have an a and a b and a c, right? The same a, b, and c are in this quadratic function, ax squared plus bx plus c. So a is 1, b is negative 4, c is 2. The x-coordinate of the vertex, the point that's either the highest or lowest point on the parabola, is negative b over 2a. So if I'm graphing a parabola, again, it looks like this. And this point here called the vertex is x sub b comma y sub b. Is that a b? I mean... Negative b over 2a. All right. This is the vertex here. All right. Its coordinates are x sub b, y sub b, and the x sub b part of that is simply negative b over 2a. So in the case of this problem here, negative b is going to be positive 4. 2a is going to be 2 times 1. So in this case, positive 2 comma something is the ordered pair that is the bottom or top point of this parabola. Right. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to put my vertex value right there. I meant to put it on the third line down. That was on purpose. All right. Because my vertex is here, I want to get a couple numbers on this side of it and a couple numbers on that side of it. So I want to pick a couple numbers smaller than 2 and a couple numbers bigger than 2 over here on the x. So if I pick going smaller, I get 1 and 0. And going bigger, I get 3 and 4. So again, the 2 is the magical number 2 that has to be used in this problem. It finds that very lowest or very highest point. Okay, then I want to pick numbers on either side of it. How do I find y? Substitute the equation. This tells me y equals this, right? We've got a whole bunch of x's here. I substitute each of those x's into the equation. I'll find out what y is. So if I put 0 in, 0 minus 0 plus 2 equals 2. Did I lose anybody there? x equals 0. I change the x's to zeros. All right? Okay. I, I, I'm not going to allow anybody to make this difficult. It's not. This is, ba this is as basic as I could teach this to a third grader. Okay, don't think of this as hard. Oh, it's the curvy line. It's got to be hard. No, it's not. It's not hard. All right? You have to find this number, which is negative b over 2a. It's going to be some number. You pick numbers on either side of it. And then you stick these numbers into this formula. That's all it is. Evaluate. Numerical evaluation. 0 squared is 0. 4 times 0 is 0 plus 2 makes 2. 1 squared is 1. Minus 4 times 1 is minus 4 plus 2 makes negative 1. 2 squared is 4. <clears throat> negative 4 times 2 is negative 8 plus 2. 6 minus 8 is negative 2. 3 squared is 9. 4 times 3 is minus 12 plus 2. 11 minus 12 is negative 1. Uh, 4 squared is 16. Minus 4 times 4 is 16 plus 2. 0 plus 2 is 2. Okay. Now something that happens here that you should expect to happen is some symmetry. Okay? I go equal distance away from the vertex. I go to the equal height. So notice I'm 1 away and 1 away. These are the same number. I'm 2 away and 2 away and these are the same number. Okay? If you get symmetry, you're, you're in the right, on the right track here. 
So now, if I plot my points, 1, 2, negative 2 is right here. That's my vertex. If I plot 1, negative 1, and 3, negative 1, and 0, 2, and 4, 2, you can see there's that shape we were looking for, right? And so it just continues going that way, and there's your parabola. Right? So imagine the shape, see the shape within the dots, and then draw the shape to it. And the final thing I want you to do is put in what's called the axis of symmetry. Okay. If the parabola is going up or down, the axis of symmetry is vertical. It goes right to the vertex. I just told you a moment ago that a parabola should be symmetric. There should be symmetry. All right. Imagine this is a mirror. This side of the parabola is looking in the mirror. Its reflection is on the other side of the mirror, right? The further away you go from the mirror here, the further away your reflection goes inside the mirror. Okay, that's what's happening there. The equation of the axis of symmetry is also expected. So I want to see the graph, I want to see the axis of symmetry drawn in. I want the axis of symmetry equation written down. Okay, guess what the axis of symmetry equation is? X equals 2. X equals 2. It's exactly this. Whatever your XB is, that's what your axis of symmetry equation is. X equals that number. So that's what I'm looking for in a parabola. I want to see where you found your chart. If you had to put down some numbers on your paper to evaluate, do it. If you can do it in your head, that's fine also. I want to see the picture. I want to see the axis of symmetry drawn through the vertex and the equation of the axis of symmetry. So what I'm looking for in an answer is this graph with that information. And of course, this chart's going to create that graph.